Josh is just wishing us luck from all the way from Melbourne, Australia. Couldn't be more London right now though here. Look at it. What a send off. So it looks like this cycle road will take us all the way from Big Ben to Barking. All the way in Essex. Absolutely brilliant. Has a made pizza. Mm. We can see over the whole of London. So first morning, birds woke us up really, really early. So I woke up about half five. It was really hot in the tent last night, but comfortable enough. Yesterday was a good day overall. We did about 60, just over 60 miles. So about 95 kilometers, something like that. Really gorgeous countryside, nice little villages. And today we're gonna be basically cycling to Harwich. We're gonna go past a little place called, what's it called, Mercy? West Mercy. West Mercy and we're gonna have some oysters. Apparently it's about six quid for six oysters or something like that, five pound fifty. Um, so we're gonna have some nice oysters as a bit of a treat on our last day in England. Uh, I think it set sails at 11, and then we should get into Hook of Holland by about eight. So this morning, we've um, had a lovely, um, Anything yet? We're just cooking now. So what we're doing, we're cooking up. This is going to be the daily routine. Basically, we're going to cook eggs and hopefully tomato and some nice baguette. Um, use the water initially for the coffee, and yeah, it's a good, well-oiled machine already. Let's have a. I'll show you what we're looking at. Get some nice fresh baguette, some tomatoes, and then my beautiful assistant will show us what we've got in there. Some nice eggs. And we're also doing, as a special treat today, beans and sausages. <laughs> this is our tent. Plenty of space inside, as you can see. So it's quite a big tent. It's a three-man MSR tent. Very hot. <laughs> so this is my attempt at my breakfast baguette. And then there's Hazard's. This is what we're having for lunch. Six oysters. Seafood platter. Oh. And my favourite, crab chowder. Get in. Looking forward to this, Hazza. <laughs> this should keep us going. <laughs> And there's no ferry. It doesn't go on a weekday. Nothing seems to work on the weekdays in Essex. But it's all part of the adventure. It would have been so nice as well. There's a really nice little pub over there. Not happy. But there's not much we can do about it, so we might as well crack on. This is quite the reality of cycle touring. So a lot of it is really lovely countryside and happy days. Some of it's just shit. This bit is a long old A road all the way to Harwich pretty much. We've been having such a good time there the last few days. Well, we've only been going for two days. But those two days have been really good fun. We stopped for amazing oysters and everything today at lunchtime. Scenery along the coastline was beautiful. And now we're just going through the Essex countryside via the A road, which isn't that great fun, but it's the only way to get to Harwich, so at least there's this nice little segregated, I wouldn't call it a cycle path, but a path, so that's good. Has his knees hurting a little bit as well, had a lot of heels recently, but we're just trying to take it easy, take it slow. And then the next few days he's on the easy street. Netherlands, so flat, it's gonna be sweet. Lots of pancakes, waffles, good beer, 
gonna meet up some friends as well. It's gonna be awesome. So, yeah, get back to this A road. Interesting. This has a stretching. <laughs> and this is us in the queue for the ferry. We've got all the essentials ready, bottle of wine. How's that? How are you looking forward to rolling onto your first okay. ever ferry? Massive, massive day. We're going to sleep in a bed tonight as well, not on the floor, which is going to be fantastic. <laughs> we've got a bottle of wine, we're going to get off in Holland in the morning, and we're going to go for pancakes straight away. Yep, yep. <laughs> and. I'm just gonna have a thoroughly lovely time and get to Amsterdam. And who knows what's gonna happen in Amsterdam. Good morning from Holland. This is our cabin on board the Stena Line boat ferry thing. It's really good actually. We've got, got a TV, we caught up on some news and some lo <coughs> Love Island. And yeah, the beds are really, really comfy. Um, we both had a really good sleep. We were absolutely shattered yesterday. Um, She's talking in Dutch, trying to wake us up. We're ready. We're ready. Huh. Raining back home. It's going to be 30 degrees pretty much all week in Holland and Belgium and wherever else we're going. And we're both really, really excited to get going with this next adventure. This is our European bit. Um, what's Hazard doing? There she is. Morning. Morning. So let's go. Cycle on, cycle off. Good sleep. En suite. Absolutely amazing. Doesn't have a kettle though. One thing, one thing I'd improve. So all we had to do was basically give our passports at the entry to the ferry port. And then basically you just get your cabin ticket, you wait in line and you roll onto the uh, roll onto the ferry, park your bike up, go up, and that's it. Have a little wander around the ferry. There's not much going on. There's a cinema, there's a little casino and some restaurants and bars. Um, but we just had a good sleep, good seven hour sleep or so on a nice mattress. And then you disembark at about eight o'clock. And uh, yeah, here we are now in the queue. So it's just basically the queue to come out of the ferry port. And uh, we're gonna head to a lovely pier on a, a little Dutch beach somewhere and have some breakfast. And just very, very excited to be here. So this is what Holland's all about. Perfect cycle path straight off the ferry. Very, very, very exciting. And this place here is called Strand Monster. Monster or wind, but So we're still on this cycle path and we've taken it pretty much all the way from the Hook of Holland. Um, it goes for miles and miles, or kilometers and kilometers and kilometers. And we're gonna stop at a really beautiful looking pier for some breakfast um, and some coffee. It's a really strong headwind as we go north. Um, so it may look beautiful, but it's quite hard going actually. <laughs> um, but absolutely stunning. Not bad first location, not bad first location at all. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. Forty-seven kilometers to Amsterdam. We'll be following this lovely little canal all the way. 
Oh, I could get used to this. Do this for four months. So we've got these lovely wholemeal crunchy rolls, mozzarella, fresh tomatoes, and mortadella ham, which I've only just discovered is ham with pistachios in it. Pistachios? Yeah. And it's just the perfect, as has said, combination of crunchy and soft, and it's just hitting the spot right now. Highly recommended. Camping in Amsterdam. Tonight on the menu we have pasta with pesto and chicken and tomatoes cooked in coconut oil and it looks incredible. Have a look at this, it smells incredible too.